Well done. I love that. Thank you. We got a good viewer question we thought let's answer live on the show um, and this is a viewer that has really nice spacious landing at the top of the staircase. The problem is it's an awkward space. Take a I, look I, at I this. I don't even understand it. It it's goes, the landing that goes nowhere. <laughs> right. You come up the stairs and you've got a balcony and there's no door at the end. No, there isn't. So I'm thinking what was that? So we've got a Figure make out it what into to do something. with it. Yeah, she doesn't know what to do with it. So you have some suggestions. I do have some suggestions. So the first thing is she shouldn't put something low. You don't want a mm. low dresser or console because you're not going to see it from downstairs. Yeah. A dresser for sure. A console even more so because you're going to be looking up at the underside of it. Right. And most furniture consoles are not finished underside. So you have to think about that when it's on a balcony. What is it going to look like from underneath? Very true. So you want to do something tall. So here we've got, this is all from LT, and I have these two shelf units, and they're in a beautiful brass. This is the color brass I like. I don't like brassy brass. Me too. Um, this is the brass that is not going to be on trend and out of style. Mm -hmm. This is a brass that is going to be here forever. So when you're looking at brass furniture, brass accessories, do this sort of toned down brass. It also works great with nickels and things like that, different colors. So that's just my tangent on brass. <laughs> this is the right one. This is the right one. And then this has beautiful wood shelves. So we've got the height. And then this is a great place for a collection of things. Yes. Notice, though, the difference between it being a cluttered mess mm -hmm. and looking styled is there is a theme to what we have here. Right. So beside the books, we have decorative accessories that while are, have different themes, they're a similar color. So we have rustic elements, mm -hmm. and we have very modern elements. Look at this picture. Isn't this a wild oh, picture? Oh, that's so cool. So the gray upon gray, Look you have that. a really nice monochromatic thing going on here, but there's a little bit of black. There's darker grays, lighter grays. And you can mix picture frames and Some put black metals. and white photography. Just yes. take your pictures, recopy them in black and white, put them on here. Really graphic, really beautiful. Do yes. some books up here. Love the look. And, it, and it's big. And so it's big. go big with that space, and then it'll look intentional, like it's supposed to be there. Exactly, like you can you just buy two or three of them. They even make wood three ones in IKEA, too. and you can spray them a great color. You can spray them black. Ah. You can spray them the wall color. Yeah. So there's lots you can do. Good tip. Okay, so this is your second suggestion. Well, I chose this. This is just such a beautiful piece. I it's chose gorgeous. this for the mirror. It sort of lightens up the space, but this becomes your linen cupboard. So oh, this is going to give her some yeah. use. So she has the ability to store linens in there. Nice. She can store small things in here. Um, but this is great storage. I love this. So it's not just a decorative element, but it is a very practical one. Right. So I love the look of this. And again, the mirror. I like the rich wood. Mm -hmm. um, the mod Look at the modern hammered steel. Isn't that beautiful? That's beautiful. And a lot of people would think maybe I don't go with a mirrored, uh, a mirrored piece up there. But it's actually probably going to make the space look a little bit bigger. Yes, that's the thing. I think if we did a solid wood piece like this, Too chunky. it's a little heavy. Yeah. The space is not wide. There's enough between the railing and here to open the door, mm -hmm. but you don't want it to look like this big lump sitting up there. Right. That's why this is great, or mirror. Now, if you find a cabinet that you like, you can mirror inside the panel. That's true. So as long as the cabinet has a recessed panel, you can put mirror into it. I or if you that. just have a straight cabinet that has flat doors, you can apply moldings on it like this and put mirrored panels in it, which I did to a, uh, the back of a door. Mm -hmm. We just applied moldings just like this and put mirrored panels on and created this effect. And it was at the end of a hall, so it reflected. It didn't look like this dead end. Very nice. I love that. Great suggestions for our viewers always. Let's go to break. Stay with us. <laughs>